Hello, and welcome to this seventh video on using Blender for video editing. In this session, we're going to talk about selecting, how to select more than one strip so that you can process them uh, in as a group. So for example, if you have a, if you've imported a video file, you have the, the video portion of it and the audio piece, and you want to apply a cut it'd be nice to be able to do it at the same time instead of cutting one and then cutting the other. So I should have showed this uh, in the, pre the previous video when we actually talked about cutting and rearranging, but I thought that uh, cutting and rearranging was already enough material uh, for that one session. So we're going to talk about it now. So before we actually do that, I'm going to apply a series of cuts so we have a bunch of strips to work with. Actually, no, scratch that. I'm going to talk about the very first uh, uh, and easiest way to select multiple strips, and that is to simply hold down the shift key as you use your right mouse button to click on the strips. So uh, I've already selected the first one, the video strip, and now I hold down on the shift key and select the audio strip. Now they are both selected. So when I move the time cursor here and then I press the K shortcut to do a soft cut. Now both the audio and the video strips have been cut into two pieces. Now these two on the right hand are, are currently selected. I can tell because of the fact that um, they, they look bolded. So I'll go ahead and uh, move the time cursor and press K again and now I have more strips to, to play with. And finally I'm going to come back here. I'm, these aren't selected so I'll right click and then shift right click now I have these selected move the time cursor again a K now I have a total of eight strips to to play with so we've already covered the the first way of selecting multiple things and that's just to hold the shift key the the second way is to press the B key and then you get to draw a box and once you have drawn drawn that box like so then any strips that it touches will be added to the selection. So now I've already got these two selected here. By drawing the box up to this point, these additional two will get selected and I can do something with them. For example, if I don't like them, I can press uh, the X shortcut key to delete them and confirm. But you know what? I don't want that right now. I'll bring them back. Uh, so again, the key thing about the the B button for box is that it adds to the selection. So right now I already have these four selected. If I draw a box, press B to draw a box, and I, and I get that top strip there, then that gets added to the selection. And then you can do other things. For example, press the G key to grab, and then I can move these around, right? And then they move together as a group. I can, I'll press escape to cancel that. Two more things to tell you about. One is the A key, which is the toggle to toggle everything on, selected or deselected. So if I press A right now, everything gets deselected. And if I press again, now they're all selected. So you know, I can press G and then and then move them all around, for example. Um, I'd like to point out this select menu here. You can see there's many options here that I'm not talking about. Because mainly because I don't I don't use them I, I'm using I use the ones that that I have been talking about so far so holding the shift key using the box and pressing the A key which is this second option here the last one I want to talk about is something I just learned about recently actually it's very cool uh, it lets you select things if they are if they have uh, the same start and stop position so basically each of these pairs you can select very easily by pressing the holding down the control key as you right mouse click. So now these two are selected and then I can press X and delete them. Uh, for, and I can also do the same thing over here. Let's say I uh, click on that while holding the control key, press X and delete that. And then I can press on this on the top one this time, same thing. They, they both get selected because they both have the same start and end uh, frames and then I can press G and then shift it over there and now I have done all that very easily using uh, shortcuts, additional ways to select multiple strips and that's it for this session so 
now you know all those methods uh, holding shift to select to add more uh, B to uh, use a box to add more A to toggle everything on or off and then the holding the control key to select them based off of whether they have the same start and stop positions so that's it hope that was uh, fun for you too and we'll see you next time bye now